Welcome back. It's RimWorld Resort. Let's see if we can pick up where we left off. I got to say the robots are working out, although I'm still pretty sad about the fact that it doesn't seem like there's any way to repair them. So we have to be good stewards of our little robot buddies. Because it, it costs a not insignificant amount of materials to get them. It takes some plasteel, which we finally mined a little bit, but I suspect it may be the only node that's on the map. Um. Yeah, and a bunch of silver, 200 silver, which we've got, but yeah. All right, uh, we are in this, and Buffy's having more problems. Buffy, why do you always have problems? Let's see what her needs are while we're still paused from coming in. She's joy deprived. She observed corpses. She is tired. She ate without a table. That is her own dumb fault. I don't know what else we can say about this. Look, she is in bed right now. She is sleeping. I don't know what else to say, folks. Buffy is uh, proving to be a little bit of a problem here. I don't know how we're going to get people back on a schedule. You know what I mean? I got a feeling that we can go ahead and just... We'll let her work a shorter shift than everybody else. But I need her to get up and do some joy activity at some point if she will do them. So let's see, Toad and everybody is around and doing their thing. Jenny is still wearing her ridiculous Yorkie skin fur coat. Um, the little bots are doing what the bots do. The dogs have decided to sleep somewhere because we left. No, we put them on good doggy. They could have gone and slept over here. They just elected not to. All right, well, we have an arcade here. We have reinstall options. I am not sure how we would be able to do some of the other stuff. Nessara is still wearing the stupid cook, whatever. If you want to wear it right now, I will let you. Don't care. But it's ridiculous. You're not the chef. What are you even doing? All right, so the cleaner bot doing what a cleaner bot can. Where is, where is the cookbot? You guys, where did the cookbot go? And how did you get on the other side of the wall? Did you just walk through the, yeah, you probably just walked through the door. Silly animals. All right, uh, it would be a good idea for us to go ahead and put out one more of these lovely mechanical things. I kind of feel like a shredder turret might be a better idea here. We don't have a long range fire with that being so close, but it's going to be a little while before we can do a shredder. Uh, we've already dealt with that pleasure cruiser, so that's not a big deal. Jenny is doing what Jenny's do. And people are carrying gross corpses back. That's good. People do need to carry those back for all the animals trying to eat them or something. Um, so what we're going to do is bust out the haul urgently tool. Go ahead and haul all that stuff urgently. We've got a bunch of people who are on haul urgently duty. Pretty much everybody's got that assigned as a three, so this should get them moving. It's Jenny and everybody else. Uh... You know what we're going to call our kitchen bot? I wish we could rename these guys. Can we rename these guys? Game, why do you fail me? Maybe I can rename the actual bot. I can't click on them when they're in this. But we're going to name our, our, our bot Cookie. Cookie, you guys. Oh, see, that's no good. We have some clap strokes there. And there's no bueno at all. So we've got all this slate. We've got a single wall of the slate there. What I would like to do is, can we, yes, that's what I want. We're gonna build a copy of that. Just down like that. We're gonna double it up. It will insulate it a little bit. 
in which I've tried to keep that double insulated all the way around. And it will also kind of discourage people from shooting. We've kind of got this nice little shooting alley here. And people might come through this way. This can catch them a little bit on the river. If we put a shredder turret here, I think its radius is probably about that big. It's a, it's a close range turret. So things are going all right there. We gotta get more people carrying this stuff. Come on, guys. There they go. Look at them. All right, so there's Jenny, who is in there practicing her medical skills. Uh, let's see where she's at. She's at 16. Well, okay. I think we're going to, oh, who needs treatment? Aslan. Yeah, I think he's, he's depressed, right? Yes, he needs antidepressants. Hey, the Purple Mountain Kin League are traveling by. That's good, they're our buddies. Now I'm gonna check out this bill here. One of the things I wanted to do, I wanna bring it down to 19. If you hit 20, you're at max, and I don't think you need to keep practicing this. Um, somebody can go ahead and treat them, that's good. We'll keep this here for now, although I would like to kind of move our solar farm, like, maybe up here. This needs to be a clear alley to do that kind of stuff, but I... Well, you know, this is a good time to start deconstructing this stuff, and it is going to be flat-out deconstruction, because that is just how that works. Now, there is a, fe a slaver from the Federation of Indoa. We might be able to buy somebody's freedom if they look like they are the kind of people that we would like to hang out with. Now, I am going to go ahead and... You know, we don't really have to worry about building this stuff. It's nice to top it off, but we have two geothermal plants. If we need it, we'll start to build it. For now, let's not worry about it. As a matter of fact, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the windmill as well. That has all served us very nicely, but I don't think that we need it at the moment. I think we're able to keep all of our batteries everywhere flushed up. It looks like, yeah, we are still down here. Oh, Mega Sloth. If you're not, like eating people. That would be weird. You're supposed to be a herbivorous animal. That is animal of the herbivore variety. So let's have... Well, who is our best at negotiation, actually? Is it still Jenny? She's 15. 9. 10. 6. Yeah, Jenny is still the best. Hey, Jenny, do we have... Where are those slavers going? Can we talk to... Yes, let's trade with Bren. Who is a slaver. And who, on the surface, we definitely do not like. But I'm not going to start a fight with the Federation of Indoa. We are having a hard time getting up there. Um, and maybe we can... Uh, maybe we can afford to liberate somebody. That would be nice. I would like to get in on that if we can. All right. Um, we have a rat. We have a cat. They want to buy our dogs. They did not bring anybody with them. They have herbal medicine, and that's about it. So cancel. That's pretty much worthless, you guys. Get out of here at some point. Uh, who needs to be better at playing stuff? I think Deborah does. Deborah, it would be nice if you were to come practice shooting. There we go. You have a pistol. Now, Buffy is doing what a Buffy can. Hauling a chain shotgun. Okay. Now, it's 17. Oh, we have an unroofed. One item in there. Yeah, that's fine. We knew it was unroofed right there. Used to be that it was required. I don't know if it still is or not. But Buffy, you need to just go eat. 
Where are you going? Would you come in here and get something to eat? Consume a simple meal. Cookie, you should be cooking. Where have you been? All right, activate all. Cookie, go, go cook. Can we name Cookie? You can't even name Cookie, you guys. Let's take a look at the bills here. Four fine meals forever. Oh, well, yeah, that's one of the things that we have to do right there. Let's go into details. If we uh, don't have a good supply of food, then we're going to get a good supply of food. Uh, let's say 65 is good. And go ahead and unpause when you hit 40. So, cookie. Come on, cookie. Yeah, here we go. An amateur class four unit capable of cooking and tending to plants. So, whatever for the Federation of Endoa. Aslan, what is your problem? You are really tired, it looks like. Well, it's almost bedtime. I imagine Deborah would be interested in not shooting anymore. I'll clear her. Let's take a look at what her shooting is. Her shooting is still one. Utter beginning. She landed to 33% slowness. Well, that's just sad, really. All right, it looks like we've cleared almost everything up. There's a gun and a pair of pants and some food and a little bit of steel. Okay, well, that's good. I think a holler robot is definitely going to be in the cards for us. Let's check out Baroness. What is up with her? Okay, good. Yeah, she is. We still have all these shattered ribs, and I don't know what to do about these shattered ribs. I don't know if we can just remove them. I don't know if we have to replace them with something. Uh, Jenny is cooking. Jenny, I know you want to cook, but I would rather you come over here and prior to us training. Let Cookie cook! Where did Cookie go? I'm assuming Cookie is doing something with the plants. But that looks like it's not true. Uh, let's go ahead and allow the sewing again. We previously paused those. Because we wanted to let... Jimmy Carter, our peanut farmer, get after planting everything out of doors. So we've done that. Now we are just kind of wasting time for not doing it. That's right. Cook it up, Cookie. Baroness is fully healed. That's what I like to see. All right, you guys. I don't know why they have decided that they need to run around out in here, but I do see that there is a, a blood stain here. And a blood stain here and a blood stain all around here. I wonder whose clothes it is or whose blood it is. Well, it's somebody's. Blood of a muffalo. And blood of a muffalo. So a muffalo walked in here while we were practicing, presumably, and got shot. Uh, it would also be nice if people were to use this martial arts target. Well, we'll get there. We will get there. Uh, everybody is kind of going to sleep at this point in time. Who is not going to sleep? Baroness. She went to go get some food. This little guy needs to keep cooking. We got a lot of rice. Not a lot of meat. So what I want to do is I want to come in here to the electric stove. I'm going to change the cooking of the oh, not four fine meals. The four simple meals. We are going to change what food they can use and say they cannot use meat. These need to be vegetarian meals. And I think that'll work out. We have a lot of rice, so we're going to have a lot of fried rice. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a lot of fried rice. But it's not going to use up our precious stores of meat. We don't have a whole lot of that left. Um, looks like we are still doing okay on the kibble. We're staying on top of that. Now, I don't think, despite the cooking, I don't think that it actually hauls anything around. So one of the things that we're going to need to do 
is after we research Kitchen Bot 2, we can go ahead and look at doing like a hauling bot. I don't even know what other kind of bots we have. We have Cleaner, Builder, Crafter, ER, Kitchen. Here we go, Hauler. Let's put basic hauler in the queue. Just, you know, in the queue. And let's start looking at maybe setting up a real detention facility. This is probably okay. But I think I kind of want to come... It's got to be easy enough to get to it because we're having problems with getting food there, but we could also somehow put it down here. Like this could be the detention block. We could put some uh, actual doors down here that do something about that. So let's look at what we would do for that. If we were going to take it, we would wind up with a hallway kind of like this. Oh, all right. Wait, let's pause real quick. They enjoyed their stay. They left us 34 unfertilized chicken eggs, 33 rhino hides, and 11 beers. Oh, and 24 uranium. Uranium. Interesting. That's kind of interesting. All right. And we're going to put in some cells, but I think they're going to be fairly large cells. Let's do something like 25. And do they need a little side bathroom? I don't think so. Let's excavate. Let's plan what this would look like, right? So if we're going to do this, it's going to be 25. We're going to have like a bed here. And we're going to have uh, we'll do like bathroom facilities here. We could give them a little place to eat here. And if we have any sort of entertainment options, they can be over here. And then we'll put a door here. Yeah, I think 25 is the way to go. Um, I doubt they'll ever break through the wall to each other, but let's just leave one anyway. And then... I think we can go ahead and do like a three. Yeah, because I kind of want the hallway to continue like this. We'll get there. And then this can actually come up here. And that gives us an option to come out over here if we want to. Do we have enough room to do a five by five there? Not without breaching it. I think that's okay. Right now, that's going to be plenty. All right. Who is in a good mood and who's in a bad mood? Deborah's in the best of moods. Deborah, what has got you so happy? You got some loving, tons of joy, low expectations, very pleasant environment. Wow. Where's the very pleasant environment? I didn't realize we built anything quite that nice. All right, Debbie. Deborah's just hanging around outside. She's okay with that, huh? I really like this place. It's beautiful. She's happy with Martin. Uh, yeah, decent bedroom. She ate without a table, but that's fine. Actually, everybody is in the blue for once, even Jenny and even Buffy. Buffy is happy for the moment. How interesting, you guys. And she's got a permanent gunshot injury, which is causing her pain. Her left leg was shot off. No wonder she's so slow and grumpy. I didn't realize that had happened. We need to get... Can we... Cut off somebody's leg? Who's dead? No, I think we have to operate on somebody who is alive. We're going to keep an eye out for... Um... Prosthetics traders. And hopefully we can get some sort of peg leg going on or something like that. 
Uh, let's go ahead and just a little bit more mining. I just want that to be square. We can get the materials later. Uh, we have got a lot of food. That is going well. Jenny is using our meat to make kibble. I think that's okay. I don't mind keeping the animals alive. We should go hunting, though. We should go hunting. Let's see here. Let's hunt that and that and that and that. All right, so we've got some boars. I'm trying to get the ones that aren't all just close together. Boars are great for hunting, but I'm afraid too many of them in an area constitute some sort of uh, colony and a herd revenge kind of a thing. That's one of the things I'm always cautious about with the deer, too. If there's too many of them next to each other, I'm not open for it. So that's a stag. We can kill it. Uh, yeah, we're going to stay away from the boomalope. We can hunt the emu. And the ostrich. Somebody's got to get down here. And you're training. All right. Jimmy is sewing stuff. Jimmy, I want you to... There's no accessible spot configured to store... Ooh, how interesting. We should put those survival meals here. Meals. Packaged survival meals. Surely somebody will go do that. Now. Soviet is getting his hunting on. Now, the good thing about hunting is that it does include hauling back. Yikes. Buffy is hunting with Soviet right there. Jesus, Buffy. Where are you going? That's a terrible weapon for hunting. We, you're going to hunt. We're going to make you a... And I'm fine with her hunting, by the way, to be honest. Hunting's fine. We just need to get her a better weapon. Um, I think like a normal shotgun. Normal shotgun. Let's have her grab that. So, Buffy, if you would come equip the pump shotgun. And even have her equip the shiv as a sidearm, but I think her melee is just terrible, so we're not going to risk it. Uh, crafter bot is interesting. Going to get materials. No. Bringing materials back from recycling something. Okay. Oh. All right. So Soviet's going to go do Soviet's thing. Why are you sleeping outside, Brio? Get up. You ding dong. We have tons of beds. And a really dirty place. Cleaner bot. I don't think you clean often enough. Or just that many people was really messy. Let's take a look at work and who else needs to be put on a, a better clean duty? I think we'll put Buffy on cleaning. She doesn't have anything else that she is. What I think I tend to think of master level as whatever you have your two in. So. There we go. Master level and cleaning for now. We have hauled out pretty nice area here. This will be our detention facility, and this can finally be turned into a full area. We'll actually move this bed up here into one of these rooms. They can be the first resident of this area. Now this thing, sadly, cannot be rebuilt. We are hitting near the limit of it, so at that point in time, we will have to just deconstruct it and build like another one in here. It's kind of sad, but you know, it is what it is. The other thing that we can do is we can definitely get on some aquaponics. And I think it may be about time to do that. Because we're hunting, but instead of hunting, we could be dumping our nearly endless amounts of rice 
into the fish, and I think we would be pretty much self-sufficient at that point in time. We would not need to murder all of the animals. It's not a bleeding heart thing that's keeping me from wanting to do that. It's the fact that they... Occasionally... You know... Attack back. What can I say? So... Amba's decided to sleep... Outdoors as well. Maybe they just like sleeping outside. Now Buffy is, there we go, looking at the water. That's actually a joy activity I had not noticed was there. So, that's kind of cool. Now, Buffy, would you? You need a melee weapon. I thought it said you could practice martial arts on that without the need for a melee weapon. I suppose it makes sense that you would need it because there is not really any unarmed combat here. So why don't you go ahead and equip that steel knife as a sidearm. Everything seems to be growing nicely. Jenny is also viewing the water. I'm glad I put that out there. It looks kind of nice to have people out here visiting. Interestingly enough, we're going to remove the ability for simple meals to be put there. And hopefully this propels them to the freezers once I enable simple meals. That should bring those extras here. Um, how many of those do we currently have, you guys? 55, so there's 40 there. That can hold 10, which is up to 60. So what we want to do is modify this just a little bit. There we go. 60. I just don't want to overflow that other freezer. Bots are doing okay. The dogs have all grown up and they're doing their thing. All is right in the world so far. So let's just fast forward here. One of the things that I do want to do is come in here to restrict and we are going to put Buffy on the standard. I think we've had her long enough and she's kind of gotten used to it. She really needs to go to sleep, though, so... Yeah, get your butt in bed. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, and you will be grumpy... ...tomorrow if you don't get your sleep. Now, interestingly enough, the batteries are draining... ...out of here pretty strongly... ...from all over the place. So, we are not getting enough power. That's generating some, that's generating some... ...that tells me we're not getting enough. So we need to get in here with the solar generators, and we need to build some. So let's just come straight out and... Trying to keep us clear of areas that would, that would shade it, and we'll go one, two, three, four, like that. And then we're going to grab... The wind turbines. We'll do it like this with a one. Right. One. Two. Three. So, okay, so it's a little off center, but that's all right. And then we are going to come in here and say cut plants. And we will cut from here all the way back through here like that. Now, one of the things I was thinking about doing was, so we can cut those. Let's come in here and look at the floors. I want whatever the cheapest sort of stone that goes down quick. All right, we got visitors. That's cool. Let's look at more floors. Maybe it's there. 
We have straw floor, so we can do that with hay. It's highly flammable. Well, that's probably not great. Uh, how about rough paving? Two blocks, it's plain, cannot be salvaged. Okay. So, when we finish building those, what we're gonna, what I wanna do is I wanna come in here with the rough paving for uh, slate, I think. We could also use wood. We have a ton of wood, don't we? I know it's kind of flammable, but we have a lot of wood somewhere. I got the edge scrolling on, so I'm having to fight with it a little bit. There's all the rocks. We have a fire. Oh, because we have a psychic ship. Well, only shit to that. That means the turrets are going to kick on here in a second. Well, one of them will. Nope, neither one of them will, because it's outside of my turret range, you guys. This game. It's all trolling all the time. All right, we have 3,008 wood. I think that means that we can build a nice little wooden platform out here. Or actually, we've defoliated it pretty strongly. Uh, there's a good chance the grass just will take forever to grow back in, so... Let's go back to the cut plants and just... All of this, like this, that's just gone. I think that'll help. Now... We're going to have a little bit of a problem here with this uh, psychic ship. Yes, we are. But I think it's a thing that we're going to deal with next time. I know we are probably coming in right at 30 minutes, and it's hard to get used to that after doing all those hour-long episodes, but this seems like a natural breakpoint. We will deal with this next time. It's going to be our big deal. Uh, psychic ship is doing horrible things. We are going to get that uh, AI at some point in time. But I will see you all next time. Make sure to leave a comment. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down.